In this demo, we're going to talk about using the annotative scale for hatch. And what that allows us to do is we can select a scale where the hatch looks correct. And then even if we plot the um, drawing at different scales, the size of the text will automatically adjust so that it remains the correct size, which is a pretty great tool. So what we want to do is we're going to look at a few different typical hatches. Um, and we're going to look at how to make those annotative. So I've drawn a series of boxes here so we can put our hatch in there. Our first step, what we want to do, and it's pretty important, is we want to come down here and set our annotation scale to, um, you know, maybe the first scale that you're going to work with. I'm going to start with one quarter of an inch equals a foot. And we're going to look at our hatch also at one half of an inch and one eighth of an inch. So I've got that set. Now I'm going to go to my home tab and click on my hatch button. And now what I want to do is I want to click on this annotative button over here so that it will set the, the hatch to be annotative. The first pattern we're going to look at is ANSI 31. Let's go up here and pick ANSI 31. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to set the scale for this to 1 and put it in here. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to hop over here to paper space for a second, and I've got three viewports set up. This one is my quarter inch viewport, and you can see my hatch is showing. This is a one eighth inch viewport, and this is a one half inch viewport. And you will notice that the hatch is not showing in either of those. This can also be very useful if you only want the hatch to show, say, at a, a larger scale to show more detail, but you don't want it to show at the smaller scale, so if you're doing an enlarged plan or something like that. So this can be very useful. You can stop right there and just have it showing in one. Now if we want to have it showing in all three, what we want to do is we want to go in here. We're going to select our hatch and go into our properties. And under the annotative scale, I'm going to click here so I get this button. And I'm going to click on add. And I'm going to add, let me scroll down here. I'm going to add my 1 8 And then using my control key, I'm going to also select my 1 half and click OK. So you can see all three have been added now. I'm going to click OK. And you can see when I hover over my hatch, I get those multiple, um, the, the cross section of the scale. And that tells me I've got multiple annotation scales assigned to it. So now I'm going to go back into my um, uh, paper space here. And you can see that the hatch is now showing in all three scales. And you can also see that the hatch looks the same size in all three instances. So let's go ahead and put in our other hatches and see how those work. So our next one is going to be brick. I'm going to click on the hatch button here. I want to make sure annotative is checked. Pick my pattern. And we're going to go to brick. And I'm going to set my scale to 0.22. And place my hatch. Now, again, I want to select it and add my other scales. So let's go in here and add my 1 eighth and my 1 half. Click OK. And let's go take a look at in paper space again. And again, you can see that the, the scale of the hatch looks the same. Um, and it's showing in all three viewports. Now what you want to make sure is that you've set the annotation scale as well as the scale of the viewport. You'll see that the annotation scale is set to one half and the standard scale is set to one half. You want to make sure that you have those set correctly. This one would be set to one quarter, this one is set to one eighth. So let's go ahead and put in a couple more of our hatches here. So let's do concrete. And concrete, I'm going to set to 0 0.02. And again, it's just about getting the scale to look correct. And then it will adjust it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put sand in. And that scale, I'm going to do at 0 0.04. Okay, so now let's select both of these and go into properties and we can add the, the scales at the same time. One eighth and one half. And again,
again, let's check paper space. So again, you can see that as we zoom in here, they are showing in all three viewports and it adjusts the scale um, to keep it consistent, uh, which is really, it can be really handy because you don't want all of a sudden your, your, your hatch to get way too dense and then it plots just, it looks black when you plot it. So that's how you use the annotative feature with Hatch. Uh, it can come in really handy either to have it not show in certain viewports at different scales or to adjust it so that the scale remains consistent.